Hey y'all, this recipe is another version of our scallops over a puree, and there is a reason why we use this combination so often. It is pretty much always a win. This time we've changed up the puree to better reflect the season and added a little crisp apple to give it more texture. This is a great example of how learning basic cooking techniques will allow you to change up ingredients and create new dishes without needing a recipe. And it helps you build cooking confidence. Okay, enough of that, let's get cooking. Begin by heating a little oil in a tall walled pan over a medium low flame. Add the onion and cook for five to 10 minutes or until fragrant and beginning to turn golden. Then add the squash, broth, thyme, and a little salt and pepper to the pan. Cover and cook for 20 minutes or until a fork can pierce the squash. While the squash is cooking, heat a little oil or butter in a pan over a low, medium flame. If the scallops are really wet, you'll need a higher flame. Once the oil is hot, add the scallops in two batches if needed for three to four minutes per side or to whatever doneness you prefer. The second batch will probably cook faster than the first. Remove the scallops to a plate once they've been cooked and cover with foil to keep warm. Turn the heat down on the pan in which you cooked the scallops, just a little bit. Add the apple cider vinegar and water to the pan, being careful of the fact that steam will be created. Use a wooden spoon to loosen up all the stuff from the bottom of the pan. This is called deglazing. Simmer the liquid for a few minutes, about five, and then keep it on low until ready to serve. Once the squash is done cooking, turn off the heat and puree using an immersion blender or a food processor. Scoop a dollop of acorn squash mash onto a plate, top with half the scallops and half the apple slices. Drizzle some of the deglazing liquid over everything and add a pinch of salt and pepper if needed. Enjoy. <laughs> 